Hi, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how I use the clay digital tools from start to finish. Here is my final sculpt that I get from Basic Sphere. Without any delay let's start our tutorial. I delete default sphere and create new one. If you Blender user you will understand the meaning. Let's subdivide sphere couple times. And now, let's quickly convert our sphere to clay by using this special tool. This tool helps to convert any surface to clay. Also you can choice any color or other parameter for that tool. If you want to change color after sculpting, you can do that pretty easily. Just choose paint and your color and press paint all. Now by using custom clay brushes, let's quick sketch our face. The result of your work directly depends on your knowledge and skills in building a head, as well as your artistic taste. The more you practice, the better the result will be. Don't be afraid to experiment. The big plus of digital clay over traditional sculpting is that you can always undo the wrong action. In order to better feel the volume, let's add light and turn on post effects. It looks better now. As you probably noticed, I did a voxel remesh and slightly overestimated the density of the grid, which at the first stage makes it difficult to work with basic shapes. Let's reduce the density and make the voxel remesh again. Cool! Now by using knife tool let's create the main shapes quickly. Now I use custom smooth tools that allows you to do realistically soften the edges without losing details. Also this tool doesn't blur your texture, unlike the default one. By combining several tools, we can quickly sketching face, similar how we would draw it into D. For example, this tool allows you to create new flat edges, which is important for forming a shape. Good, now I want to change type of clay quickly. For that, I change color a little bit and paint over on my head. This is another way how you can change your clay on a fly or even make mix of two types of clay. Now, without going into details, we repeat all our actions until we get the more human face of our head. Here, I also use drag tool to adjust parts of our sculpt. By using the stick tool, you can make beautiful holes just like in real life. Let's make the eyes and sculpt crease near the nose. So, the main form is ready, let's increase the poly grid. I made several types of clay maker tool, let's try another one. Here the important note, the larger the mesh, the more detail you get, but remember to create a basic shape first, and only then increase the mesh density and add details. If you like your model at a certain stage, and want to experiment in, without breaking the main shape, you can use layers. Layers are fully compatible with digital clay and allow you to change the depth as well as work with materials. I highly recommend using them for more flexible work with your model. Now by using mask let's create ears. First paint mask and then use carve to create a new shape. This method give us more control of ears and if we want we can add them to main head by using voxel remesh. When we have separated object, we can copy it to opposite side by using mirror repeater. It's give us more control for posing them in a space. But in our case, we just can do a copy left side to the right side by using mirror function. Now we just refine all our head parts by using combination of clay and smooth. Okay, let's make some hair for our head. I will use this tool for hair.
just randomly put it on a surface to make some hair values. And then smooth them a little bit. The same method I will use on his bread. As you can see our head is looks too much symmetrically, let's fix that. Just disable symmetry mode and let's correct the main parts individually. For better looks try to use a different brushes for your personal artist taste. As you can see I play around with brush size to get better shapes. Also remember that you always can change intensive brushes here. For that example I don't use any references, but I highly recommend to find some. Because references can help you to build your face properly. Okay, we done here. Let's add some rim lights. I put them behind to highlight the relief of the head and get a beautiful contour around the edges. Looks pretty cool. Let's add some final touches to our head. I will use this finger sculpting simulation tool to get cool realistic effect. Be sure to try this tool. It really deserves your attention. Overall, the main idea for this pack was to bring the experience of traditional sculpting into a digital shell, and if you tried real clay, you will understand all the pleasure of the process. Okay. We done! I hope you like my tutorial, give me know what you think about in the comments.